there you go guys what do you think landscaping in everything's painted a little bit touch-up work left to do I thought first I would just do a walk around the house and kind of give you a view of the outside and how it looks so over there's a smaller gate We've got the trees in, of course the grass and the trees and everything's dormant right now. All right. All right, so let me spin you around. So you got a nice big side yard. I mean, this is a this is the whole length of the house and it's you know, a good probably 15 feet in width or so. There's the porch. And then you still got a nice backyard, right? You've got that big retaining wall, which it gives you a lot of privacy. So in general, when you build a house that's got a retaining wall, and then you've got that big fence like that, you get a lot of privacy. And then you've got this uh, massive wall of windows along the back of the house, which is awesome. I'm a big fan of that. It's a little tight over here, but you've got your air conditioning unit down there. So you've got a lot of different stuff you could do back here for sure. But you've got plenty of room to stretch out, and that's the important thing. All right, guys, look at your pretty new home. So. There's your entrance with the chandelier. And I wanted to show you guys, see how they did that recess up there? That's always really cute. And so you can see these pretty glass doors. They do lock and secure in place. If you notice, see that's locked it in. And then the other door of course shuts and it's glass as well. So there's the office. And you can see the tile is all the way through. Okay, moving through the home. Let's see, let me adjust this a little so it looks nice. You've got, your linen closet, or excuse me, your half bath, okay, and then you've got your bench coming right in, and then here is the garage, so they do have a light in here, and then the tandem goes around the corner, and I gotta tell you guys, having, having the tile floors throughout is just awesome. It is really nice. It gives it a great feel. There's your bath between these two bedrooms. Okay. And then I'm going to try to get you a, kind of a good view of the bedroom. These are nice size, by the way. These feel really good. Got a big walk-in closet. And then on the other side, we have got the other bedroom. And I'm going to walk to the far corner. And I'm just going to been around and can kind of get a feel for it. And we've got a matching walk-in closet on this side. So for all practical purposes, other than the actual location, both of these bedrooms are identical. Okay, now we're back. So I want to keep your bearings. There's the front door. Got to spin slower. I don't want to make you guys seasick. And then here is the media room. And here's the linen closet. You remember I thought before the linen closet, it was actually a half bath. And then here's a cloak, coat closet, which is really nice. And then here's the media room. Now you guys can use this for whatever you want, but you've got these big doors that can close on it, right? Those are big eight foot doors. And so you can leave it open and have a big TV in there and some furniture and you can shut the doors. Now moving back in to the family room, you've got another hallway. You've got the utility room. Okay, you've got another linen closet right here in the hallway. You can never have too many linen closets. And then here's this really cute bedroom, kind of in the back off the family area. It's very quiet back here, let me get the lights on. And you can see it's really pretty. Got some nice countertops going in. And then look at this pretty shower. That is awesome. Now remember, they haven't cleaned and polished and tightened everything up yet. They're still in that process, but you know, they, could, they could have this house really ready to go in a week. 
And then you've got a reach-in closet, and you've got the tile running into it as well. And you've got a coat bar, and then it turns down there, and you've got a shelf above it. All right, that's that's one of the my favorite rooms in the house, quite frankly. I think that's pretty neat. Okay, here's the dining room with these massive windows, and let me give you a little walk around on the light fixture that would be hanging above your dining room table. And then I'll give you another slow sweep of the family room or the common room. Here's your fireplace. And they've got a really micro subway tile in one color that complements the subway tile that's back here in the kitchen. And then you've got this really pretty island. So I'm gonna give you a slow sweep. So your fridge goes in here. You've got your cabinetry above it. Here's your ovens. So there's your microwave, there's your upper oven, see, it's pretty sharp, there's your lower oven, and there's a big reach-in pantry. It's really a walk-in pantry, I just call them a reach-in because we're lazy and we don't actually go all the way through. And then, let's see, we're going to walk through just so you can get a feel for it. And again, the tile, and they're carrying through all these big windows. Here's a view of the back porch from the kitchen. From, this is actually the breakfast area where I'm standing now and I'm looking back into the kitchen. And then let me give you a little quick pass along on the island. I'm just trying to give you guys as many different views as I can get because I know A, you're probably excited and B, you're kind of wondering what it all looks like. So forgive me if I'm going too slow. All right, and then let me get you kind of a close up on the backsplash. And you can see kind of how the undermount light is, but see how it gives a pretty glow. We leave these on at night in our house. It's kind of a night light. Really works well. And then there's your vent hood. It's got lights and fan speeds and it can keep all the odors from the cooking, suck them right up and eject them outside the house. All right, let's go into the master. So here we're walking through. Got a cook closet. And then now we're moving into the master. So it's a nice sized master. The tile has run all the way through. There's no carpet in this house anywhere. Look at that. That is really grandiose. I mean, that's really cool and how the fan is recessed back up in there. Let me give you another view from this corner. So it's a really good sized bedroom. I mean, it fits really nice. And then there's your thermostat. light switches and your fan switches and then in another corner here's a view as well okay now let's go into the master bath and I'll kind of try to do a panoramic just kind of show you what everything looks like and there's a little medicine cabinet over there and there's the facilities it's got a little obscured window privacy with light. Here's your tub. It's a Jetta tub, a jacuzzi tub, but jacuzzi is the name brand. So we just say Jetta tub. And then they're carrying in this pretty tile work all the way into the shower. And then you can see the inset flooring is a different tile. It's just, this is just a really pretty shower. You got the right side closet. Got the tile in there, and you've got the left side closet. Got the tile in there, and you've got another linen cabinet. And then you've got this little medicine cabinet, and then you've got the dark colored cabinetry as well that sets off the countertops really nice and the paint color. <clears throat> well guys, I hope, I hope that was a good tour. I wanted to uh, make sure I gave you guys um, a really good view of what's going on in here. I know that you guys were dying because I couldn't get in last time to, to actually do the tour. Um, I'm sorry about that. They were cleaning everything and I did not want to get in their way. It's just, that's my rule. I try, to, I try to be courteous when these folks are working really hard to clean it. Now, you may be saying to yourself, if they were cleaning last time, why is the tile and everything so dirty? 
It's because all the guys that come in and work and do their job, they're not thinking about keeping your floor clean. They clean the house four or five times during this final process. When you guys move in, it will be pristine. It will be squeaky clean. I promise, it will be. Um, they keep the water going on the grass. The trees are in. They're gonna make sure everything stays healthy and is in great shape when they hand the house over to you. Okay, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll be in touch. Okay, bye guys.